Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make the classic fried green tomatoes. And you can see I've got a lot of green tomatoes here. I've had family members and neighbors bring me over these lovely tomatoes fresh out of their garden. And let me tell you, there's nothing like it this time of the year. Now, a green tomato is a tomato that hasn't turned red on the vine yet or hasn't turned red sitting on the countertop, such as this. And even if you have a tomato like this and you want to make fried green tomatoes, this will be all right to use as well. So let me show you how we're going to get this started. First, we're just going to slice these green tomatoes as thick or as, as thin as you wish. I'm slicing mine about a fourth of an inch thick and I'm lying it over here on a cookie sheet that I've lined with paper towels to absorb the excess liquid. Now to cut it, I just go ahead and cut the end off like this. Now you can eat this if you want. And then you go ahead and slice it into your desired thickness. And now once we have the tomatoes out that we're going to fry, we're going to add a little salt. And this way we're going to let them sit here for a few minutes and some of the liquid will absorb more into the towels. And you can flip them over like this and also give a little bit of the salt to the other side. We'll set these off for the next 15 minutes. Now the next step, you're going to turn your tomatoes here uh, to make sure that these paper towels will absorb all the liquid here on them. And if you want, I like to go ahead and put a little fresh cracked pepper on it. For the coating of these fried green tomatoes, you're going to need buttermilk. I've got a cup here a cup of self-rising flour, a half a cup of self-rising cornmeal, one half teaspoon of pepper, you can add more or you can add less, and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And again, you can add more or you can add less. Now we need to create this assembly line, and I'm using a Pyrex. Actually, I had my buttermilk frozen, so that was a little chunk that you saw that just fell in there. I'm gonna put my tomatoes over here, and then in this Pyrex, I'm going to add the flour, the cornmeal, and listen, if you want to freeze your buttermilk, if you're not going to use it all before that expiration date, just put it in a mason jar about a half an inch up to the top, put a lid on it, seal it well, and stick it in your freezer and pull it out and let it fall in the refrigerator before using. I mean, we don't use a whole lot of buttermilk around here. But I hate to um, throw out the buttermilk we don't use. A great tip to save money. A little whisk, and I'm really incorporating the flour with the cornmeal. For the assembly line, I have my buttermilk, I have my self-rising flour and cornmeal with salt and pepper. And I've got an extra plate I'm going to put my coated green tomatoes on. Everybody knows me, I like using a spatula. We're going to dip these fried, well actually it'll probably be easier to use my hands and if you want to use your hands be my guest and then we're going to get in here and we're going to flip them over take off that excess buttermilk and put it over here into our cornmeal mixture oh my gosh oh i've been waiting all year for these these are just absolutely the best and i'm not kidding these tomatoes right fresh out of the garden. Oh my goodness, make all the difference in the world. And I'm just gonna get in here with my hands and give them a lovely little coating of the flour mixture. And come back with your regular plate. You wanna tap off the excess flours on your tomatoes. And we're gonna let this sit here for the next five minutes and just let it really absorb that buttermilk and, and that flour coating. Continue doing this until you get all your tomatoes coated with buttermilk and the flour corn meal mixture. I've got all those sliced green tomatoes coated. So now over here to the oven top to the frying pan, I've got my vegetable oil heating in a heavy bottom skillet to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if you wanna use peanut oil, you may do that too. And slowly dip the tip of your tomato in and drop and let these fry until they're lovely and golden. Oh yeah, 
These are going to be absolutely fantastic. After two minutes, I'll turn off my timer. Be sure to use your timer. It really can save some delicious frying time in your skillet. All right, I'm using a fork just to help me turn these tomatoes. And look how beautiful and golden they are. Now, if you want them a little browner, then you can fry them a little longer. But my skillet is over medium-low heat. Definitely a must. Medium low heat. Make sure your oil is preheated before you drop your tomatoes in. Two minutes up on this side. And of course, if your tomatoes are sliced thicker, you may want to fry them a little longer. If you slice your tomatoes a little thinner, then you're probably going to fry them a little less. So here we go. And we're going to transport them back here to a plate that I've lined with paper towels. Now this tomato slice is a little thicker. I'm going to leave it in there just a little bit longer. And as you can see, the frying process even starts slowing down. Oh my goodness, those look absolutely fantastic. And I just want to show you. Oh yeah, I'm proud of those lovely fried green tomatoes. And oh my goodness, they're so delicious. So it's about time to get this one out too. Continue frying the rest of your fried green tomatoes. Oh yeah. It's going to be a win-win summertime side dish. Or you may just want to eat it as a meal. Here we are, our delicious, classic, southern style fried green tomatoes. And let me tell you, I've just been dying to sink my teeth into one of them. And I'm going to cut into this. I'm going to show you what it's like on the inside. I'm just using a serrated knife. And looky there. Oh yeah. When you get them first out of the frying pan, that's when they're going to be the crunchiest. If you let them sit for a little while, that crunch will die down a little bit and won't be as crunchy. So I'm going to give them a try. Mmm. Oh, mercy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yummy. That tanginess from the buttermilk, that lovely crunch from the cornmeal and the flour. Perfectly seasoned. If you want to eat this with your favorite dip, that's fine. But... In our family, we love it just the way it is. Hey, y'all. Thanks a million for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Share the video if you wish. And I'll catch you next time.